What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with another absolute banger of an off-meta team that features Weakness Policy Necrozma, Life Orb Araquanid, and Power Herb Aurorus. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, get on top of that. We are so close to 12,000 subscribers. So huge shout out to all the subscribers to the Gene channel. It really does go a long way. Seriously, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But like I said, we are rocking out with another off-meta team, and I've been loving using off-meta teams. They're super fun, and they make the game feel brand new, considering you're using Pokemon that you never used before. So... Hopefully we can use another off meta team like this and grab ourselves some wins. But let's get started here in the top left corner with the team preview. Start off with the one and only Necrozma. Necrozma is basically like Soul Galio. That's how I see him. He works pretty much the same. He really thrives under the weakness policy and in Dynamax. So just like Soul Galio, you get this thing's weakness policy proc and your Dynamax is going to be able to dominate because it's going to be able to hit it like a truck alongside being beefy as well. We got Prism Armor as its ability, and then we're rocking out with a solid moveset of Sun Seal Strike, Rock Slide, EQ, and Trick Room to kind of just pair up with the rest of his team. A lot of these Pokemon are slow and work well in the Trick Room, so we'll probably be popping in a lot in today's video. Right next to him is going to be our Intimidate Pokemon, which is going to be Arcanine. Cannot go wrong with Arcanine, just great all around. It's got Intimidate alongside with the Citrus Berry to give it some more HP when it falls below half. And then we're rocking with Flamethrower, Bulldoze to actually proc the weakest policy on the Charisma, will wisp to burn physical attackers, and last but not least, we got Protect on him. Middle left is going to be Rollaboom, but not just any Rollaboom, a Swords Dance Rollaboom. I've never used a Swords Dance Rollaboom, so hopefully we get to set this Pokemon up and roll out strong with them. We have the Grassy Surge, the Miracle Seed as item, and then we got its two most common moves with Grassy God and High Horsepower, Swords Dance, like I said, and then last but not least, we're Rock and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Yubelta, and I feel like Yubelta is definitely one of the best Series 12 Restricted Mods. It is just so good in every different situation. I just really like it. I really do. We got the Dark Aurora as its ability, alongside with that a Soul Fest and Soak Up some special attacking moves. Then we're rocking out with, with what I believe is the best move set for Yubelta. We got Foul Play for big damage on physical attackers, Snarl for special attack drop, Oblivion Wing for stab and HP recovery, and last but not least, we have Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Like I said, I think that's the best move set for Yabelta. It always does wonders for me, so I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our fifth mod. That is going to be Aurorus. I absolutely love this Pokemon and haven't used it in a while. We got the Snow Warning, the Trigger to Hail, and to have Weather Control up against Kai Ogre and Groudon teams. We're also rocking the Power Herb to make Meteor Beam go in one shot. And also give us a special attack boost. And then we got free strive for stab, a roar veil to set up them screens. And last but not least, we got protect. Final Pokemon for the squad is a Raquinid. Life or Raquinid with the water bubble ability. We got liquidation, soak, wide guard, and protect. This Pokemon is super good in Trick Room and will work wonders when it's Trick Room and when he Dynamax. So I really cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. And lastly, we got uh, the combo right there that I didn't even mention. We got Raquinid and Rillaboom. These guys can combo perfectly with Soak. I can soak any opposing Pokemon, change their typing to water, and just hit them like a truck with Rillaboom's Grassy Guide. So, cannot wait to showcase that, and at least hopefully get to showcase that in today's video. But guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, we got that Rather Code right at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Necrozma, Aurorus, and Araquanid off-meta team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into battle number one, and we're going up against a pretty cool off-meta Vicabolt Trick Room team. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Good battle for battle number one. He also has the Grim Snarl, the, uh, what is that Pokemon called? Ice Rider Calyrex, and then he has Storm Drink Gastron alongside with Groudon and Porygon Z. So he's definitely one, he's looking to pop Trick Room here, but how should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like Necrozma could be really good. I actually want to check the speeds real quick. I, that's something I didn't do yet. We got uh, 73, 158, 106, 150, 56, and 42. Okay, so these Pokemon definitely got to come in. We got to rock out in with our off meta squad. And do I just go Necrozma or Arcanine here? Could definitely work wonders. We could definitely work wonders with them. So I'm thinking of just leading them. But the Prism Armor and the Weakness Policy, I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging that. Yeah, I'm with that all day. Because if he pops Trick Room, yeah, we can get rolling with this. We can get rolling with this squad. Yeah, he has a few physical attackers too that we can just set a burn off with. All right, I'm with this. Let's lock it down. Let's lock it in and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys, seriously, this is a good question of the day. I really need to know, so let me know in the comment section down below. Would you guys like to see Mario Kart content on the channel? Not like everyday content for Mario Kart, just like maybe like once or twice a week where I hop onto the online uh, races and give you guys like four races. I think that could be tons of fun because I'm a big Mario Kart fan and the new DLC is coming out. If not, your boy's probably going to be streaming it over on Twitch, Jeans25 on Twitch, but I definitely want to do some content over on YouTube, so let me know if you guys would be enjoying that. Pokemon wouldn't go anywhere, guys. It'll just be a few days, like maybe every Sunday, maybe like twice a week, I upload an extra video of me ripping into some Mario Kart. But definitely let me know in the comment section down below. 
if you guys would like that. This guy's gonna go into the drought with the Groudon. Uh, what do we do from here? Uh, we could pop the Trick Room. I'm feeling a Will-O-Wisp here. I'm feeling a Will-O-Wisp into a Trick Room here. I do dig this. I do dig this turn. He could fake me out, but I'm with the Will-O-Wisp all day. Onto a physical attacking Groudon. I'm with it. He's gonna Thunder Wave over here. That's totally fine. Into him. That's fine. Oh, wait. He's gonna go for Blades here. Leave me alone. Don't Blades me. Don't Blades me. Blades come out. Dodge it, Arcanine. The Crows would dodge. Okay, that's fine. Arcanine probably goes down here, right? Yeah, all day. Arcanine drops out. That's totally fine. We get to actually set up a trick room here. He gets a crit. What do you mean? He gets a crit. Get out of my face. He gets a crit, and now I can actually bring out... Uh, do I bring out worse and set up a war bell and just Dynamax my boy? I might as well, right? That does sound good. I think we do that. I think we set up the war bell and we kind of just get rolling from here. Because he can proc policy on me all day. He can proc policy on me all day. I'll get the defense boost here from the steel spike, and I'll set up the war bell. Just so these shots don't do too much. I'm kind of with it. I'm with it, dude. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. We'll definitely go into this war bell, set it up, and we'll just pop a nice little Dynamax, and we'll go into a Max Steel Swing. I'm with it. He's probably going to Thunder Wave me, right? Probably try to slow me down, which is all good. Like, we're in the Trick Room. We might miss a few turns with that, but I'm liking where we're sitting. I definitely like it. He might have that Calyrex in the back. So this could be a really close battle, but we do have Meteor Beam rocking on our uh, Aurora's, which could do some big damage, which, def which definitely could do some big damage. So we come out with Necrozma, 408 HP. This Pokemon's gorgeous. Look at that thing, all shiny, looking all spiffy. He's gonna Thunder Wave me, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. So he slows me down, maybe my War Bell will come out here first now. We'll see. As long as we're not paralyzed, we should be thriving here. Come on, man, get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. Necrozma's gonna go, we're gonna get this lovely defense boost right here. Yeah, get out of here, Grimstarl. There we go, we drop Grimstarl, no problem whatsoever, and we're gonna grab ourselves this lovely defense boost. That's huge, that's a great defense boost. But dude, I really want to get off that War Bell. But now that we are paralyzed, that will make us go first over everything. So if, as long as we can eat up this blade, right? Yeah, we soak all day. We soak all day. So as long as we can eat up the, that blade right there, we can set up a roar bell next turn. And now we have a weakness policy. Pro. We love it. 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 Okay, let's see what he brings out here. Because I'm not really too worried about this round. Now that we're getting these defense boosts and just kind of like bulking up here. He's not going to be able to do too, too much damage. So we might just swap him to try to get weather control later in the match. He sends out P2 here. Which I'm cool with. I'm cool with uh, P2. I'm cool with that. I'm thinking of just taking out Groudon here. And I'm just going to set up this War Veil. Get it rolling here. And then we're just going to go into... I think another Steel Spike should play, right? Right? Steel Spike definitely should play. Take out Groudon. I like it. I like it. Aurora should go first, which could be could work wonders for us. It could definitely work wonders for us. Now, I wonder if he's going to Dynamax his Porygon 2 here. I really do. Or is he maybe trying to cancel Trick Room? Which he could definitely do. He's going to Dynamax somebody. Who is it? The P2 or the Groudon? I'm kind of hoping it's the Groudon. Because we can get off some big damage with this. We're weakness policy. And we'll get this defense boost as well. But if, I just need to get off this Aurora Bell. He Dynamaxes Groudon here. I'm fine with it, dude. If, Like I said, if I can get off this Aurora Bell, we're going to be able to tank up so many shots. We're just going to be able to out-tank a lot of these guys here. Aurora Bell comes off. There it is, baby. Aurora Bell set up. So now we have the Reflect and Light Screen all in one with the Aurora Bell. Gotta love it. We go next. We're gonna grab ourselves a nice lovely defense boost and get off some big damage here. We are weak spots to proc, so that's some solid damage. That's some solid damage. We love it. We love it. I wonder what P2's going for. Is he gonna cancel out the trick room? I kinda hope he doesn't. Kinda hope he doesn't. He goes for a max quake here into my worst, maybe? Or are you going after Necrozma? He goes after Necrozma. Oh, <laughs> yo, dude, we soaking. We are soaking the shots all day. All day. Gets a special defense boost. That's fine by me. And what is P2 going for? P2 is going to cancel out the Trick Room. Okay, so P2 cancels out the Trick Room. Smart play by him. Uh, What do we do from here? What do we do from here? Hmm. Good protect my boy. Or we can try to go for a Meteor Beam. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do here? Meteor Beam could be your play. I don't like the Meteor Beam into the P2. And then... We take out the ground on what's your player? Hmm, we could definitely take out the ground on. Can we leave this ground on? No, we gotta take it out, right? If I had to guess, he probably has another physical attacker in the back end, right? Probably Calyrex, right? If it, it's gotta be Calyrex, so I'd rather I'd rather boost my defense here. In all honesty, I'd rather boost my defense. Get rolling with that. 
I would rather boost defense. So he changes up the weather. He's going to uh, do some more damage over onto Necrozma. Pretty much nothing. Easy soaks. And that's fine that he changes up weather. It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. Roars might be in here for another turn to drop a big old meteor. Beam. It'll be lovely. Steel Spike's going to fly here. It's great. We're going to take out you and we're going to get yet another defense boost. <laughs> Yo, we are stacking up on the defense board. Stacking up on the defense board. So we're hoping that uh, Calyrex is the last Pokemon here. It could really work wonders for us. It could really work its wonders. Because if it that's the case, if that's the case, then I will I don't even need to pop a tricky one. I won't even need to pop it. He's gonna go for Fat Blight. Ooh. 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 That did us dirty. That did us dirty. I was not expecting that. I was definitely not expecting that. We drop a meteor beam though. We'll get that special special attack boost. We'll get off some decent damage here. But yo, that foul play, I was not expecting. I was not expecting. Good thing Necrozma is faster than Porygon Z. Let's see who he brings out here. We go into this. Yeah, he send it. And not bad damage over onto Porygon. Really not too bad damage. But dude, who's his final Pokemon here? Show me someone slow. Show me someone slow. Calyrex. Okay, so Calyrex comes out here. And I wonder what that Pokemon's speed is. I wonder what that Pokemon's speed is. We are hoping. We are seriously hoping that my boy can actually outspeed him. That would be amazing if my Necrozma can outspeed him, but I don't think it's happening. I really don't think that's happening. We'll go for the freeze try. Uh, we gotta go over on this slot, and if I can get this off, Sun Seal Strike, right? Or do I go for a Rock Slide? Nah, we're going for Sun Seal Strike. Cause if we can get this off, this could be big damage. But I think Calyx is gonna outspeed us. Calyx just protects. Oh, you son of a biscuit! You son of a biscuit! Poor got miss. Poor got miss. Miss with that foul play. That was a great, great protect by him. Free try comes out here. Bonk. Help me out here. I need some help. Trick him. Oh. Oh. Ooh. It's going to be cutting it close now. But now PZ goes first. Actually, this thing goes first. I could try to charge up a Meteor Beam. Nah, because then he takes me out. Gotta go for more freeze tries here. Gotta go for more freeze tries. And we'll try to get off a Rock Slide, but... Mm, PZ's going to go first, right? Roars obviously goes first because it's paralyzed, but PZ is now. Oh, crit that. Oh, 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 Aurorus. Aurorus with a big KO. Go ahead, Necros, but go next. No, Calyrex goes next. Who's he going after? Oh my god, yo, he goes after Aurorus. Oh my god. He was predicting PZ to not die from that. Rock Slide comes out. Yo, GG's. Get it out of here. We should have Sun Shield Strike. I was doing that just in case, like, you know. Oh no, this is going to be. Oh no, this, this, is, this is not looking good for us. Actually, it is looking good for us because my boy goes first. My boy goes first. And we're hoping, we're just hoping that my boy can actually take him out. <laughs> Freeze Rise is going to come out here. Let's see how much damage we can do. And we'll go for a, uh, we'll go for the Sun Shield Strike, dude. If we would have just went for the Sun Shield Strike, we would have won. But we still have a Raccoonade in the back, which is pretty solid. Oh, no. Don't do me dirty like that. Don't do me dirty like that. Don't you do me dirty like that. And I think a Roar Bell ends after this. Don't you do me dirty like that. A Roar Slift. Okay, beautiful. I love you, Aurora. Aurora soaks it up, yo. Aurora Veil, Aurora soaks it up. Chilling A boost. Let's get rolling here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Aurora Veil's gone, but we still have our lovely little Araquanid in the back end. And I can wide guard here. Right? Should I wide guard? I think I should just wide guard, right? He's got to go for Glacial Lance. He's got to go for Glacial Lance. I'm just going to wide guard this. I'm just going to wide guard it. Make a big read on this. A little wide guard action here. A little action with the wide guard. Go to Aurorus. Oh my lord. Please go for Glacial Lance. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love to see it. Okay, so now we're posing a threat with the wide guard. Now he's probably just going to go for a heavy slam. And now I can actually get in a liquidation shot. Just straight in here. But dude, Aurorus. You got you to stop being paralyzed, man. That's two in a row. That is two in a row. We're going to rip into a liquidation. Let's see how this one plays. Right when I might go first. It might be slower than Calyrex. Come on, three turns in a row. Thank you, Araquanid. Thank you. Thank you, Araquanid. Araquanid comes in here. Liquidation. That's double damage with the water bu bubble ability. And there it is, guys. What a first battle. What a first battle. We start off 1-0. Let's hop into our second. Let's go back to back. What a first battle to get this video started. Long and drawn out, and it could have went either way. Aurora's definitely came up clutch, getting a critical hit, but it definitely did not come up clutch. In those last three turns. I was paralyzed three turns in a row. But luckily, my boy Raquinid was able to come in that back end and do some work there and pick up the victory. But we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex and Kyogre team. 
definitely want to bring Aurora's here just because we can change up weather and kind of control it that way. He also has the Whimsicott, so I might just go into Necrozma and possibly pop a trick from turn one. Right? That kind of sounds good. I kind of want to go into both of these guys. One, two, and they go Aurora's into... Rillaboom could be solid here, too. Rillaboom could definitely be solid because he has a really fast team. The Trick Room could definitely work in our favor. Do I want Araquanid or do I want Rillaboom? I'm kind of leaning more towards Rillaboom just for that Grassy Glide. It could work onto the uh, Kyogre, onto the Regilecki. It does big damage all around, so... I'm kind of leaning more towards the Rillaboom here. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Or not battle number one. Battle number two. We're looking to go back to back here. We're looking to go back to back here. But it was definitely fun using the Aurora's and the Araquanid in that first battle. And actually winning the battle, which is pretty cool. Which was really, really cool. Because he brought out the Calyrex, and I was kind of scared. But I was just like, yo, we're fine. We're fine. He popped the Trick Room. We had the Raccoon in the back end, who is slower than him, which is amazing. Which is really, really good. So, this team can, uh, like, it's a that's, a... that's what's good about Trick Room teams. It's usually, like, when you're using a fast team, if someone gets off the Trick Room, you're really in a tough situation. But when you're using a Trick Room team, you can either Trick Room to counter the fast teams, or if the opposing team uses Trick Room, you're like, okay, um, my team's fine with Trick Room. So, that's exactly how we rocked out with that one. And this one, they have a pretty fast team, so we're going to have to get off this trick here. It's going to go in Urshfu alongside Wimscott, and... Ba -ba -ba -bum. What do I do? What's the Gene Spider? Pop the trick room? Do I pop the trick room? That's kind of scary, because that those dark moves are super effective to me. Um, I could hard swap. I could hard swap maybe in the roll boom here. Hmm. Or have him pop my weakness policy and take him out. You know, we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna have this thing pop my weakness policy. We're gonna have this thing pop my weakness policy. We have prism armor. We're, we'll let him go for that wicked blow. We'll let him do that. We will let him do that. We have prism armor. I'm cool with that. Maybe he will not pop a tail one. We're gonna dynamax in the crossbow right here. That's my plan. We'll, we'll, we'll soak up the shot with Prism Armor. We will take out that, uh, that Urshfu. Even if he Sash, we have Sucker Punch next turn. And then we'll get a Defense Boost here as well with the Necrozma. I'm digging it. So no Trick Room for us. He's gonna go for the Tailwind. So he's just gonna set up Speed Control. That's fine. That is fine. Is he going for a Wicked Blow? Yep, there it is. Wow, that did some big damage. That did, that did a lot more than I thought it would. That did a lot more than I thought it would. But it does proc Policy Control. Let's pop the policy. We are going to be able to get off a steel spike here, get a defense boost, and Oblivion Wing is going to poke here. So maybe a quick double kill. But still, if he Dynamaxes, that could be tough for us. So there he goes. Urshfu goes down here. Wimscott is going to have that Focus Ash. That's fine. That's fine. And we get a crit, even though I think we're taking him out regardless. That thing is such a late move. Steel spike to fly through here. I wonder who he's going to go into. I really do. There's the Focus Ash, right? Yep. Focus Ash pops out here. I knew one of them was holding it. I knew one of them was holding it. I was waiting for it. I was kind of actually hoping it was the Ursha, though, because that could have been a little better for us. So now we could go into a Sucker Punch and finish off the Wimsicott. We could definitely do that. It is an option. But I wonder who he's going to bring out here. I do wonder who he's going to bring out here. He's going to bring out Calyrex. Oh, we like that. We do indeed like that. We do indeed like that because we know it doesn't have a Focus Ash. We know it doesn't have a Focus Ash. So from here, do I Quake? What other Pokemon could he have in the back end? I'm just looking for stat boost. I'm just looking for stat boost at this point. And if I had to guess, it's going to be Kyogre. So you know what? I'm just going to Quake. I am just going to Quake here just for that stat boost. And obviously, I'm just going to go for straight for Sucker Punch here. Yvelta is here. We got to pose that threat on the Calyrex. He's going to withdraw the Calyrex. That's fine. Who's he going to go into? Who's the final Mon? Reggie. Reggie comes out. I'm cool with that. Sucker Punch does nothing. He's going to have to Dynamax Reggie, I think. Moonblast flies through. It's a nice little swap from him. Should be able to hook that up. We got the Soul Vest all day. Yeah, thank you very much. We do indeed like that. We do indeed like that. That's fine. Reggie's going to come out here. And we go for the Max Quake. So we get a nice, lovely special defense boost up against two special attackers, the Reglecky and the Calyrex. So that's a great call by me to go into that Max Quake. We do love it. We do love it. Okay, so now he's going to bring out the Calyrex. And I feel like the Calyrex does not have Protect. Because it would have protected instead of swapping out, right? It would have 100% swapped. So I feel like I have one, like I want to, we don't even have protect on Yabelta, so it don't matter. We got to, we got to just keep posing threat with Sucker Punch. We have to. It's an absolute must. It's an absolute must. And we'll go into a Quake on the other slot. 
we have to it's like we have to right yeah i'm with it we'll quake over onto regilecki and then from here we gotta go for the punch sucker punch because right wouldn't he just protect last turn instead of swapping that's what i would think that maybe he's choice scarf maybe something along those lines he could be choice scarf after his battle i'm definitely gonna check i'm definitely gonna check because that is odd to just just hard swap instead of protect that's what leads me to think he's not he's not ripping protect on this pokemon let's see he's gonna have to dynamax somebody and he might dynamax the calyrex have it be able to soak up a shot but i just don't see it happening i just see it more so being the regilecki and then we have uh we do have roll boom in the back which is really really good which is really really good so he's gonna dynamax here i think this is the reggie right it's gotta be the bad no way he goes into uh he goes into calyrex let's see it is the reggie okay so reggie gets the dynamax here he's probably uh, i don't really even know he's probably going for a max lightning into my about the slot but we'll see we'll see what the we'll see what the calyrex is doing Cool, it is attacking. So Sucker Punch comes out here. We get to sock that thing up. He's dead, right? Yep, get him on out of here. He doesn't have Focus Ash. The Whimsicott had it. That's what we were waiting for. So that thing definitely had to have been uh, Choice Scarfed or something. Definitely had to have been Choice Scarfed. He's going to Lightning over onto Yvelta. And cool, we get off a big old Max Quake. That's going to be GG's. It might not even take him out, but we still have the Robo in the back end with Grass God. It's over. It is over with. So we made a great call here. We made a solid call by not even going for the Trick Room because he had a solid lead up against us. We're just like, okay, let's not go for a Trick Room and let's try to get off some big damage here. And that's exactly what we did. No Trick Room needed. Or Yvelta came up clutch with the Sucker Punches, the Oblivion Wings, all that good stuff. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Max Quake comes out here, takes that thing out. That's GG's. I forgot our weakness policy was Brock from the Wicked Blow. But there it is, yo. 2 0. We grabbed ourselves a winning record. Now it's time to go grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. Uh, guys. We have a problem. We're sitting at 2-0. We're looking for a perfect record. I'm sitting at about 3,000 on the rank ladder. And I get paired up against this guy who is number 28 in the master tier. 28. That's high. That is high. If we can beat this guy, I'm going to be pretty proud of myself. Especially with this team right here. But he's got Lugia. He's got Zassi. And he also has Meowstic, who I think he's going to lead alongside with uh, Rillaboom. In, uh, not Rillaboom. Incineroar, Landorus, and Regilecki. So, two Intimidate Pokemon. Fake out as well. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, I don't even know what I want to do. That's the problem. I don't even know what I want to do. I have no idea what I want to do here. Uh, might lead the Yvelta. Yvelta could be solid here. I mean, if he wants to go into a few, few physical attackers, that could be fine. But I really want to try to pop this Trick Room. I really want to try to get Trick Room rolling here and then bring a Rack one in alongside with do i bring arcanine arcanine could be solid but i'm gonna bring a roars we're gonna have some fun with this one actually no we're not we're gonna bring real boom just in case we want to try to get off that uh that soak combo but dude we're versus number 28 in the world what is going on here what is going on what is going on here that was nuts i saw it. like like what's this matching system it's over 3,000 more placements on me if i win this one my rank better go up to 28 i better just swap spots with them so like, you switch it. <laughs> He's probably going to go with Meowstic as lead, right? No, Reggie and Incineroar. Incineroar. Okay. Uh, how do I go into this one? How do I do this? I definitely want to try to pop a Trick Room. It's my call. I definitely want to try to pop a Trick Room. I definitely want to try to pop the Tricky. Now that's what I'm going to go for. I might just go for a uh, Oblivion Wing to get back some HP here. Oh, it's not going to do too, too much. So, uh... Snarl could be good, or I could just suck up on straight on this one. I'm gonna go for a foul play. What do I want to do? Snarl could be solid. What do I want to do here? I'm thinking of just sucker punch and seeing how much damage I can get off there. And then just pop in the trick room. Trick room baby. Sucker punch comes through here. Oh, not bad damage. I, I was I was hoping it would have done at least half. We have a soul fest here. We can soak up. That's beautiful. And he's not faking me out, which is beautiful. So I can get Trick Room up and out all day. Up and out all day, baby. Okay. Well, what's Incineroar we're going for? Is he doubling down into my Yvelta? I hope not. So I hope we can get off, like, at least, a, like, an Oblivion Wing or something to get off some HP recovery. That could be great for us. And then depending on where this, uh, Necrozma's sitting, we might have to die. Next time. Let's see. We're going to go into Lugia. So Lugia comes out here. And Taunt's gonna come out here. Oh, you son of a biscuit. 
taunt with the... Mm, what a play. That's why this dude's number 28 in the world. <laughs> he plays no games. He plays no games. Uh, that thing is obviously going to be weakness policy. So, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. what do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to go Oblivion Wing here. And I could just go for EQ or... Mm, I'm thinking of eq -ing. I don't really want to proc policy. That's my problem. I think he has multi-scale. So we're just going to go into a Sunset Strike. I can definitely see a Dynamax coming out from Lugia. No, he's going to calm mine. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is that GG's? <laughs> Is that GG's? Is that GG's? The taunt was huge. That was an amazing play by, the, uh, by our opponent here. But well, we're gonna rub up some HP recovery. Maybe we can get a crit. Actually, we, did, we are physical attacking, which is great. But the combine doesn't really affect my boy right here. And this guy's got a party shot. Go Nia Velta. Okay, cool. So he goes to Nia Velta. That's totally fine. He switches out. And who's gonna go into that from here? Wow. Got some good players. Going up against a great player here. Great player. If he didn't tell me, yo, I thought we were sitting good. I was like, yeah, yo, we got Trick Room rolling out here. We could be thriving. I would love to get off a foul play on that. A foul play can do some big damage on this Zacian. Big, big damage on Zacian. Such a strikes in the poke here. Let's get it. Get off some big damage, but it's not going to do too much. Lugia's super bulky. Our weakness policy is not proc. Look at that. Look at that. Look how bulky that thing is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for that foul play. Foul play. I want to pop Drake Room so bad. I want to pop it so bad. I could go here and just go into an EQ if I wanted to. I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is like one over. I don't know, man. This is tough. This is real tough news here. Actually, he might proc policy here. I'm gonna Dynamax and go into. It. I'm gonna double down into Zassian here. I'm double down into Zassian. He's gonna Dynamax Lugia. Okay. I see you, big dog. I see you. I see you. I see you. But dude, I thought we were thriving. I was like, okay, solid turn for us. We're gonna be able to pop up Trick Room. Next thing I know, Incineroar's like this. Hit me with the taunt. I'm like, yo, come on, dude. Come on. But it's crazy, like, the skill gap that it that it jumps up to with, the, like, the top, I would say, like, 500 players compared to anybody below that. The skill jump is just, it's just immaculate how much better these players are. And you, and you couldn't think you can get that much better from, like, 5,000 to, like, up to 500. But it's crazy the reads and the plays that these guys make and the, and the difference of moves that they use. Like they, they're, they're using moves that you would not expect Pokemon to have. Like, you never seen Incineroar with And it worked out so well in this situation. So he goes to the Behemoth Blade. Yavelta eats. That's a beautiful eat. It's a beautiful eat. We love you, Yavelta. Airstream's gonna come through here. And he's probably going into... Double sound in Yavelta. So he gets rid of Yavelta. That's totally fine. So we get, he gets rid of Yavelta. We're gonna go for his Max Quake here. It might take this thing out. I don't know. It might. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I do not know. I'm hoping because, you know, we cannot get swept. We cannot get swept. Max Quake comes out here. That hits us hard. That hits us hard. We don't like We don't like that. So we really do not want to proc the policy of that uh, Lugia, but we might have to. We shook off our taunt finally, but it don't matter. We could go Raccoonade. We could go Rillaboom. I'm leaning more towards Rillaboom here. Oh, uh, no. He does have Airstream. All right. Looks like we're going to Raccoonade. A Raccoonade. Get on in here. Get on in here, Raccoonade. And I can definitely see that... Uh, that Zassy may be protecting this turn. Hmm. What do I want to do here? We're going to have to pose a threat. We're going to go Liquidation there. And I really want to Rock Fall. But I kind of want to Defense Boost at the same time. I'm going to Defense Boost up. I know we're not going to do too much damage out here. And he withdraws. That's cool. Who's going to go into Incineroar probably? Cool. Incineroar's dead. Okay. Incineroar's dead. We love it. We love it. Intimidate's gonna come out here. That's fine. Intimidate. Even though we have two physical attacks out here. Incineroar is still dead. So he's gonna airstream again. And that's gonna go into Raccoonade. And oh god. Why did I forget it was super effective onto him? I was just thinking he was water type. He's bug. Son of a biscuit. God dang it, jeans. <laughs> oh god, that's what that's what that's what I get for not using a Raccoonade though. Forget it's typing. See, like, I knew it was bug, but then I kind of forgot in that moment that this thing was just going to use a flying move. Okay, we can't get swept. We cannot get swept. We got to bring out a really. We have to bring out really, Bill. 
We cannot get swept, so you know what? I'm just gonna take out that uh that Incineroar. I'm just gonna double down in Incineroar. I'm gonna say get on out of here, Incineroar. We have to do work on them. We have to get some work done all to them. Grass covers the battlefield. High horsepower we're gonna roll out here. We doubling down into him. Hmm. Yeah. We're doubling down into this dude. We're not getting swept. Yo, please do not tell me he goes to someone who's flying. Who's he swapping into here? Okay, cool. He's dead. He's dead. Airstream's gonna fly through here. Cool. We don't get swept. We do not get swept. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. But yo, what a bunch of plays by this guy. Our opponent, phenomenal battle. Phenomenal battle by him. Definitely just dumped on us. Did a lot of work on us, but I think we would have been fine if we, we could have got this trick room off. If we were able to get off that trick room, we were thriving. But I was just in a situation after he taunted me. I was sitting there. I was just like, I have to Dynamax in order to at least have a shot. So I Dynamax, and then he started making even better plays by swapping in, out, in, out, blah, 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 blah. Doing all that good stuff and kind of just running the battle from there. But seriously, yo, that, that, that taunt was phenomenal. That was such a good play. That was such a good play, which I was not expecting. That's why I was just like, oh, cool. We get off Trick Room. We're totally fine. Because Incineroars never have taunt. Never have taunt. So, big plays by him. He can fake me out now. If he is rocking with it, he might not even be rocking with it. Because a lot of people expect it. So, I feel like when you're in those higher ranks, you have to be using stuff that people don't expect. That they can't. It makes them a lot harder to read. But I'm just going to run this battle. 2 and 1 for an off meta team. I count that as a win in my book. Definitely a win in my book. But GG's to our final opponent here. Had an absolute blast rocking out with this team in today's video. Really, really fun to use. We had the Necrozma, showed them off in every single battle. That Pokemon was a must. Yvelta got to use them a lot because, you know, Yvelta's amazing. And we even got to show off Aurora's clutching up and a rack when they're doing some work in the battles as well. So, really, really like this team and had tons of fun with it. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.